Hi guys, today's recipe is palak gosh, also known as beef and spinach curry. And here are some of the ingredients. We have beef here bone in. And we have two and a half tomatoes and then four onions. Now here we are, us we are using fresh spinach. Now we're going to use some oil. For full recipe, ingredients and instruction, please click down in the description box below. Now we add Cuban seeds, two black cardamoms, three cinnamon sticks, four cloves, and whole black pepper. Now we're going to add our sliced onion. Let this fry until it turns into light medium brown. Add meat. Add ginger garlic paste. turmeric powder, add red chili powder or red pepper powder I should say, add garam masala powder also known as allspice powder. Use salt according to your taste or your diet, add tomatoes, Coriander powder. I forgot to use this at the beginning, so I'm using it right now. Now it's time to cover the lid and let this cook until it, it, it all gets tender. Now here I'm using a knife to check the meat and it is tender. Time to add the spinach on top of our meat. Now give this a very good mix. You don't want to have anything burned underneath the pot. I mean underneath down there. You need to have a good mix. Because we are going to now dry up all the water that the spinach is going to leave. There you go. You see it bubbles down there. We need to evaporate all that water. Here I'm showing you in this clip there's hardly any water and that's why you see steam coming up. So we need to dry up the water. Add four green chilies. And now here I'm going to close a lid here because I want to have uh, infuse the, the, the flavor, the aroma of that uh, green chilies within the curry and there you go you have your pala gauche beef and spinach curry ready serve this hot with roti or naan it goes perfect with homemade naans on roti thank you so much for watching i hope you like this recipe until then take care and enjoy